So this question is a diagram question. We can see that we've been provided with these box and whisker plots, data set X, data set Y. If you recall, the way that you read these plots are that the leftmost line represents the minimum value, the rightmost line represents the maximum value, the midline or the line within the box represents the median, and then we have like first quartile, second quartile information here as well. So the question says the box plot summarize, probably should say summarizes data set X and data set Y. Each of the data sets consists of a total of 100 integers. So that's good to know, right? So obviously there's a data set here behind these whisker plots that we do not see. So I have no idea, um, I have no idea how they're distributed necessarily. Um, which of the following statements must be true? So whenever I see must be, it stands out to me, right? So here's why it stands out to me. I want to make sure I'm not choosing something that could be, right? So could be is the enemy here. I want to make sure that I'm choosing an answer that must be. And in this case, it must be given what we see visually here because we don't have any other information to go by. So answer choice one or, or statement one, I should say. The mean of data set X is less than the mean of data set Y. Hmm. Well, looking at the box plots, I don't know the mean value. There's nothing within a box plot that tells you what the mean is at all. So there's not much I can say about one. Choice two, the median of data set X is less than the median of data set Y. Well, that is provided, right? That's this line here, which lines up with five for data set X. That's this line here that lines up with six for data set Y. So yes, in fact, the median of data set X is less than the median of data set Y. So two is good. So let's look at my answer choices. A says one only. Well, that's not true because we know two is good. B says two only. I like that. C says one and two. Again, I think the mean of data set X could be, it could be less than the mean of data set Y. There's just not enough information for me to be able to know that for sure. So I'm going to say choice B is correct and C is gone and obviously also D is gone.